Hello and welcome back grade 2 students. I hope you guys are enjoying my science videos. Today we're going to continue with Unit 5, Changes to Earth's Surface, Lesson 2. What changes on Earth happen quickly? Part 1. For today, we're going to cover the following points. Introduction to Lesson 2, What Changes on Earth Happen Quickly, page 244-245. Explore, explain earthquakes, page 246. We open our books to page 244. Lesson 2. What changes on Earth happen quickly? So, what changes on Earth happen quickly? Hmm, in the previous lesson, we studied about the slow changes that cause a change to Earth's surface over a really long period of time, right? Such as the weathering excellence, such as the erosion. For this lesson, we're going to study about the changes on Earth that happen quickly. The things that cause changes on Earth quickly. Such as what? Such as an, let's check out and see. Such as an earthquake, excellent, and such as a volcano erupting. See the lava? So a volcano erupted and the lava is burning everything around it. Okay, let's check out and see what's happening. Some changes on Earth happen quickly, so they're telling us that some changes on Earth happen quickly. Now, by the end of this lesson, I will be able to describe changes to Earth that happen quickly. So I'm going to read it one more time, then I'm going to explain. By the end of this lesson, I will be able to describe changes to Earth that happen quickly. So in this lesson, we're going to learn about the different changes that happen quickly on Earth, okay? And we're going to be able to describe them, to tell what is an earthquake. Okay, to explain to our friends, what is an earthquake? What is a volcano? Clear? Kindly open your books to page 245. Quick changes to Earth's surface. Look at the pictures to explore how a volcanic eruption caused the land to change. So I'm going to read it one more time, then I'm going to explain. Quick changes to Earth's surface. Look at the pictures to explore how a volcanic eruption caused the land to change. So in the first picture, we could see a volcano erupting, and then we could see that the lava caused a change to the land. Okay, after it cools down, it changes into rocks. So they're telling us, observe how the volcanic eruption caused the land to change. Clear? So is it still the same? It's still the same road with, the, with nothing uh, blocking it or nothing in the way. Excellent. So the volcanoes cause a quick change directly. When a volcano erupts, it causes a quick change to the Earth's surface. Clear? Now in this picture, we could see also a volcano erupting. We could see the dust and the ash coming out of it, right? So let's read together. Remember, can you explain it in this part, in this section on page 245? We discuss it orally with our parents. Clear? Can you explain it? Can you explain it? How can a volcano cause Earth's surface to change quickly? So, how can a volcano cause Earth's surface to change quickly? Excellent! The lava that will erupt from the volcano will burn everything as it moves downwards. Okay, and what will happen? It will cause a quick change to Earth's surface. Clear so far? Let's check out and see. Now, kindly open to page 246. Earthquakes. So the first quick change that we're going to study about are the earthquakes. Clear? And we listen up carefully. Attached in the instruction sheet, you're going to find a video about the earthquakes, okay? But we cannot include it in this one due to copyright issues. That's why you may click on the link in the instruction sheet and you may watch it easily. So let's take a minute to observe carefully these two pictures. The land before an earthquake and then the land after an earthquake. What's happening? Hmm, how is the land in the before picture? Excellent, it is the same without anything changing. How is the land after an earthquake? Excellent. We observe carefully and we could spot a what? Excellent, a crack in the land. Clear? So let's start reading. To an earthquake happens quickly. The shaking starts suddenly. It usually lasts for only a few seconds. So again, an earthquake happens quickly. The shaking starts suddenly. It usually lasts for only a few seconds. So they're telling us that an earthquake happens quickly. The shaking starts suddenly. So suddenly you feel that the ground is shaking, okay? It usually lasts only for a few seconds. So 
Does it last for five hours? Does it last for six days? No, it lasts only for a few seconds. See? Let's check out what happens after that earthquake. An earthquake may cause many changes to the land. Cracks from a uh, form on Earth's surface. The ground may shift and lose some strength. When the ground shakes, everything on it shakes too. Buildings may sway, trees may fall over. So I'm going to read it one more time, then I'm going to explain. An earthquake may cause many changes to the land. Cracks may form on Earth's surface. The ground may shift and lose some strength. When the ground shakes, everything on it shakes too. Buildings may sway, trees may fall over. So, we listen up carefully. They're telling us that an earthquake may cause many changes to the land. So, does it cause only one change? No. We have a lot of changes. First of all, cracks may form on Earth's surface. And we see the cracks over here in the picture when we observe carefully. See, we didn't have any cracks before the earthquake. After the earthquake occurred or happened, we could spot easily the cracks in the ground. Clear? The ground may shift and lose some strength. So, the ground may shift. Okay, something might, so some parts of the ground may uh, shift upwards, others may shift downwards, okay? And it loses some strength, which means it becomes weaker, okay? Now, when the ground shakes, everything on it shakes too. They're telling us that when an earthquake happens, the ground shakes. And when it shakes, everything on it shakes too. The buildings may sway. When we say sway, okay, they sway. They may either sway left or right, forward or backward, clear? So they sway, clear so far, and the trees may fall over, clear? So let's read together. An earthquake is a sudden shaking of the ground that causes land to rise and fall. It can cause fast changes to Earth's surface. So I'm going to reread it, then I'm going to explain. An earthquake is a sudden shaking of the ground that causes land to rise and fall. It can cause fast changes to Earth's surface. Now we listen up carefully. They're telling us that what is a uh, what is an earthquake? Okay, they're describing to us what is an earthquake. An earthquake is the sudden shaking of the ground that causes land to rise and fall. Okay, so what is an earthquake? They're telling us an earthquake is a sudden shaking of the ground that causes land to rise and fall. One more time, an earthquake is a sudden shaking of the ground. That causes land to rise and fall. So we listen up carefully when we say it causes the land to rise and fall. This means it's causing a quick change, fast change to Earth's surface. Okay? So the earthquake, they're telling us what is an earthquake? It's the sudden shaking. Suddenly, the ground starts to shake, causing the land to rise and fall. And it causes fast, it can cause fast changes to Earth's surface. Okay? Such as what? Such as the cracks on Earth's surface, okay? Also, what did they tell us? They told us that the ground may shift and lose some strength. Shift, it means it will rise and fall or make a big crack, okay? Clear? And they're telling us that when the ground shakes, everything on it shakes too, such as the buildings, they may sway, but also the trees may fall over. Clear? These are the fast changes, the fast changes that an earthquake might cause to Earth's surface. So what is an earthquake? Let's underline all together. An earthquake is a sudden shaking of the ground that causes land to rise and fall. One more time, an earthquake is a sudden shaking of the ground that causes land to rise and fall. One more time, an earthquake is a sudden shaking of the ground that causes land to rise and fall one more time, an earthquake is a sudden shaking of the ground that causes land to rise and fall. Are you ready? An earthquake is a sudden shaking of the ground that causes land to rise and fall. Clear? So, they're asking us, which changes may be caused by an earthquake? Choose all correct answers. When they say choose all correct answers, this means we have more than one answer. Excellent. A. Cracks on Earth's surface. B. Shifting ground. C. Swaying buildings. Again. Which changes may be caused by an earthquake? Choose all correct answers. A. Cracks on Earth's surface. 
B. Shifting the ground. C. Swaying building. What do you guys think? So what did we say? Hmm. We said that an earthquake is a sudden shaking of the ground that causes land to rise and fall. So when it causes land to rise and fall, what did they tell us? That what 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 are the changes that we might see due to an earthquake on Earth's surface? A. Cracks on Earth's surface. Yes, we could spot it in the picture. So it is of course A. B. Shifting ground. Yes, it will cause the land to rise and fall and to shift. C. Swaying buildings. Yes, the buildings may sway back and forward or from side to side. Clear? So what is an earthquake? One more time. An earthquake is a sudden shaking of the ground that causes land to rise and fall. What are the changes that an earthquake might cause? We might see cracks in the uh, or on Earth's surface. We might see cracks on Earth's surface, okay? Or the shifting ground, the land might rise and fall, or swaying buildings, okay? So all of these are changes that could be caused by an earthquake. Remember, swaying it means it moves from side to side or it moves backward and to or forward. Clear? So far, so good. So which changes may be caused by an earthquake? What are the changes that might be caused by an earthquake? Either cracks or there are a lot, some of them, such as cracks on Earth's surface, shifting the ground, the land might rise and fall, or it's swaying buildings, okay? And the trees might fall over. Clear? That's all. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you.